You're listening to episode 80 of the Let's Go Comic Show. My name is Justin. And I'm Matt. But we are not alone for this very special Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse episode. You can't do a Spider-Man focus episode without the world famous Spider-Man expert and rad friend, Mr. Harold, a.k.a. DeLon Anderson. We got rad friends, rad friends, rad friends. Hey! <laughs> so good. Someday we just need to do like a super cut of all of Delon's it's, it's greetings all right. hey. Hey. and make sure. <laughs> I think they're all very similar. Hey. hey, I don't know how to to get get in other and then just jump in, just dive in like a. Bull. You're like the human air horn. <laughs> oh man, that's a terrible thing to say. To somebody, you're the human. <laughs> you're you're the freaking sh- human air horn. That's how I feel about you right now. <laughs> you're the human air horn. <laughs> Not going to get invited uh, to any graduations anymore. Yeah, you are like the star of graduations. What are you talking about? You're the human air horn. You no know way. Invo- Never mind. People use the air horn all the time at graduations. People use me all the time, too. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> well, it's been a great show. Yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead. Thanks. That was episode 80. We'll see. <laughs> Roll the credits. I like, dun, dun, I like dun, that uh, dun, dun, Matt dun, is like, he's Bruce Wayne and us over on the other side of this table, dude. <laughs> he's like, hey, come over and have some soup. <laughs> like, looking at us, like me and Delano on oh, the I'm missing my end. black turtleneck though <laughs> Oh the, the Steve Jobs version of You like the soup? He's like I don't know if I've been in this room before She's like what? Why'd you take me here? He's like That's weird know. Why would you bring me to a room you've never been before? This is where Alfred set it up girl Why do you own a room you've never been to before? <laughs> He's all you want to go to the pantry where Alfred lives? <laughs> you know if I got rich I think I do want to make a point to buy rooms that I, I've never been in before Because if you're ever bored at home you could just walk into a random room. When you're like, rich, is that something you do? You buy houses by the room? Yo, let's add a room. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Let's add a room. <laughs> Real estate agent. Actually, this room, no. Nah. No. Wait, that wait. room belongs to Oliver <laughs> Queen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need a soup room. <laughs> How do I eat soup? <laughs> that sounds like the creepiest room. <laughs> the soup room? Hello, Miss Vale. Master Bruce will see you in the soup room. She's like, What? <laughs> What the She's like, I on? gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> no, I'm out. She's like, wait, will it be vichy soir? It's supposed to be cold. So. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, so uh, welcome to the Let's Go Comic Show. We <laughs> we are not talking about Batman eighty nine today. We are talking about uh, the twenty eighteen release of Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Indeed. But before we even do that, we have to get into the rating system, Delon. Better have it right, dude. <laughs> what? Wow. What that is our rating so system? Uh, 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 if, if you don't get the rating system. Oh, no. He's uh, coming okay, in like yeah, kingpin. Oh, okay, here we go. All right. Am I starting from the bottom or starting from the top? Where, however you I like to start from the top. All right, check it out, Wait. guys. <laughs> gotta go is at the top. All right. That means you absolutely gotta go. This is do this. some amazing stuff. It's gonna change your life. You need to make this happen. Let's go is not quite life changing. Your life is gonna be the same. But it's gonna be better. So mm-hmm. it, I guess, it's still life changing. The same, but better. It's mm-hmm. the same, that sounds, but it's that's better. A good, that's a good yeah. definition. I, yes. I like and then go is just kind of like you know, you know, take it. I mean, it could be opinion thing. You know, it's not as as objective as other mm-hmm. ones. There, there's some, some. You know, you might like it. I you mean, might. if you don't go, it's on you. Yeah, it's on you. I then, like um, it. and then there's the don't go. Um, and that is like, yeah, as it says, do not go. Yeah. Watch something else. There are a lot of movies. Don't waste your time on this one. Yeah. And then there's the bottom of the barrel scraping the trash juice. There you go. And that is like, I don't know what you're doing to yourself. Like, just don't, don't, don't. I already told this. you not to go, but then you went ahead and watched it. Yeah. And now you're going to try to bring that over to my house. You can't watch my children anymore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to send you a Christmas card because you're making bad life decisions. There you go. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty clear like breakdown of the rating system. And no so, toilets. No toilets. And we're <laughs> we're going to talk exclusively <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> about... Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Okay, so let's go. What we're going to do is we're going to rewind back to a year ago. Back to 2017. Yes, December of 2017. We were so young. We were so young. There was a lot of things that we didn't know yet. What we did know is there was a Spider-Man movie coming out. 
I was it even called Into the Spider Verse then? Was it just called Spider Man? Yeah, okay. they released the first trailer last December. Okay, I remember showing people at Christmas time and <laughs> annoying everyone with like, "You have to watch this animated trailer." They're like, "Why? Why would I watch this?" With that shot, the up, upside down in the middle mm-hmm. thing. Whoa! Yeah, that was that was really exciting. But at that time. We didn't know it was going to be other characters, right? It was just Spider-Man. Right. It was Miles yeah. Morales, right? Well, there was a hint that he was keep looking back at someone Matt, else. Like, hey, hey. Hey, you over there? Hey, you over there at the end of the table? Uh, yeah, I remember being really stoked on that trailer and then really sad that I had to wait a year to see it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Other than that, so there's <laughs> nothing else really that... Well, I mean, uh, I think there was the journey, this, the there was this uh, idea of like, do we need another Spider-Man movie so quick from Sony? And it's going to be animated. When have we ever had an animated superhero movie out in theaters? Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, there was a lot of unknowns about that. But we knew that Chris uh, Miller and Phil Lord were involved at some point. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, at least for me, it gave a little bit of, like, buy-in right away. That was all the main reason I was excited about it. Because if I would heard otherwise of an animated Spider-Man movie, I'd probably be... Just worried, especially coming from Sony. But. Totally, their track record isn't isn't uh, spotless. Nah, but those those guys are fun. They know how to make a good time. And I think that trailer is what confirmed, like, oh, this is definitely what we've been hearing about it being a Miles Morales story. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. It's definitely that. Here's what the costume looks like. He's wearing Air Jordans. Like there were a lot of like key things. I think. And even stylistically, you could tell in that first trailer, like, oh, this is going to be something different. Yeah. The animation looked fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they kept teasing that. They're like, yeah, this is going to be groundbreaking animation that you've never seen. But everybody says stuff like that. And I was just like, okay, whatever. And then when you see it, it's like, oh, well, yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. I wasn't excited until I saw, I think, the second trailer. Oh, really? Yeah, because it had more of those comic grits going on in it. Oh, yeah. I was completely sold the first trailer. Yeah, but there was that point of like, is this going to confuse people? I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking that. I just because sometimes you, animations could be a cash grab. They can't they could can be like created without a lot of like love and care. There's a lot of animated movies that come out. You actually think about it. Like there was one that came out like a month ago, maybe two months ago. It was like about like Littlefoot or something. A like, small foot. Small, who, who wants to watch that? Yeah, it didn't look yeah. like something well worth it, our time. It, yeah, and, and I, they do them because people are like, oh, I'll take my kid to see a movie. I had someone who says, hey, you want to take your kid to see Smallfoot? I'm like, no, we're waiting for Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm going to spend <laughs> my money on Spider-Man, dude. Spider-Man gets all my money, not Smallfoot. No Smallfoot Unless money? Unless Smallfoot starts... <laughs> Smallfoot? Like, Smallfoot? Smallfoot? Food? He's, he's Canadian. Unless Smallfoot <laughs> starts spinning webs out of the feet, dude. I don't no care. more wheezing the juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even Canadian. <laughs> Smallfoot? <laughs> Anyways, okay, so we were, all, we were all pretty much excited, right, on, on mm-hmm, Spider-Man mm-hmm. into the Spider-Verse. I was expecting and hoping for good things. Yeah. I was excited because I just love Miles Morales as a character, and I was like, okay, so we're going to get Indeed. his perspective. We're going to get it, like... From his experience, and then I think the second trailer showed him like hanging out with old Peter Parker, and then it was like, "Oh, what the crap's going on?" Yeah, and, and then the get, third trailer was like, "Oh, there's Spider Gwen." Yeah, and Spider Ham, and yeah, dude, all sorts of stuff. Nicholas Cage, Spider Man. Anyways, all right, dude, so so good. Let's just jump into this movie. Since you are a guest, Alon, yeah, tell, tell me about your Spider Man proclivities and how much you enjoy this movie. <laughs> Or did you hate it? I don't know. I think you hated this movie, right? Um, wait, it, is is this like spoiler? Dude, we're, just, we're yeah. If you spoil, right. we're gonna spoil we're this gonna movie. We're gonna spoil dude. the crap out of this. There's no structure. We're just talking. All right. Um, I I, uh, I thought it was super great and terrific, and it I feel like it just was good in every single way that it yeah. could have been. I um. I like immediately wanted to watch it all over again because I feel like I need to watch it multiple times to mm-hmm. soak in all the good things that were happening. You've currently only seen it once. Yeah. Me too. Matt has seen it twice. I went back. My wife needed to see it and I she needed, needed to see it. She did. Uh, okay. Because here's the thing. Usually when I see a movie that I really like, especially a superhero movie, I usually have to like kind of... Uh, hold back my excitement a little bit so that I don't set people up for failure, like to get them too excited and then it doesn't deliver. Right. Uh, After coming out of this movie, I was 
pure confidence that I'm like, I can't overhype this movie. Yeah. Like there's no way I can hype it enough that it won't deliver on whatever I'm hyping it for. Mm-hmm. And so my wife was just hearing my brother and I talk about it the other night and she was like, Oh, like maybe we need to do it. And she started listening to the soundtrack cause our kids have been listening to it nonstop. Yeah. Uh, it's incredible. Um, they can't listen to all of the soundtrack. Why not? Really? Yeah. There's some, there's some selections dude with some like ease on there. Some ease, ease, explicit lyrics, dude. No, there's no, nope. yes, no. no. I've listened to this which one a lot of times through, right. and there's not. I might be wrong. I think you keep are. going, keep going. Black Panther, the soundtrack. But also, your wife sure. did go and just watch Robin Hood just because, like, she did. <laughs> <laughs> so I know it's, it's. I wanted that one to be so good, man. I know. So anyway, because of those <laughs> things, she was like, "Oh, maybe I need to see this." And then that combination of that, and I really wanted to see it. We saw it in 3D. Uh, the first time we saw it, and yeah. I wanted to see it in Dolby Atmos just because I'm like, I want to hear this thing like with really good sound and really loud. And with uh, Aquaman and Bumblebee coming out this weekend, I'm like, mm-hmm. there's no way that's going to still be in that theater come yeah. Thursday. And so I was like, we're picking oh, yeah. kids up from school early. <clears throat> we are going and seeing this movie again. Nice. That's where I went. To, it, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. How you saw it. it was so good. Yeah. So you good. know, I don't mind 3D if it's done well. I typically don't pick 3D to watch. Same. This, I didn't even think about it. Once I had the glasses on. It was so on, good. Yeah, it was good, man. Nice. It was so fun. Dude, okay. I'm a, I've am seen a few uh, like animated features in the last few weeks. I saw The Grinch sucked. It did not suck. suck. But that's fine. It, it was bad. No, we're not. This we're not talking about this Sorry. on this show. I'm, we I have am, to move it was, on. It was I'm trash not going to get. Hold on. It is not trash juice. It's, it's, I'm not gonna it is not trash juice. I'm not going to get sucked me? into this conversation. It I'm was, not kidding. It was a complete like oh they gosh. completely <laughs> derailed like who the Grinch is. They made him like no, they did He's nice to his dog now, and he's like he's not a he bad guy. He wasn't even nice to his dog. Anyways. Then he was I watched nice to his dog once the story moved on and he developed just like he does in the original one. He had a character arc. Man, it was a dumb movie. Oh my <laughs> man, why change what was so perfect in the 22 19? Because you're making a separate change. movie. They added things to it. They didn't change any of that. Ter- Anyways, I watched Wreck It Ralph destroys the internet. That's basically emoji movie two. It was I wouldn't really go that far. Good. It was really it, bad. It had two good spots in it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And that's it. Wreck It Ralph 2 Did just you say it was didn't... bad? The movie was Wreck It Ralph bad. was not good. It was not good. Oh wow. I'm yeah. not gonna be as mean as Justin. And accuse things of being trash juice, which are not. All right. The Grinch was trash juice. It was not. Oh Wreck-It Ralph gosh. was just a go. Really? You, you're saying Wreck-It Ralph was better than The Grinch. I can't believe I'm arguing yeah. over all yeah. the animated <laughs> movies right now. It was. Because Gal no Gadot way. was in it, in even though what? she was a video no. game. Oh, my God. She was still great. I can't. <laughs> Man. Anyways, what I'm saying is, in the in Let's the get back in the to something sea, we can agree in, on. Um, in the sea of all these I animated the things that have, been, the that have come out... <laughs> All these animated movies that have been coming out during the holiday season, they just dump them. Boom, 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 boom. Because kids are out. They're like, hey, we're going to make some money. We're going to capitalize on Christmas. We're going to give you some like, like really bad versions of characters that you, you hey. love. <laughs> but then Spider-Man Stop. comes out here. And Spider-Man comes out. Sony did something so amazing. No pun intended. From the get-go, like from the credits, you just knew you were getting something Dude, different. those title cards. Yeah. Before those title even cards. the credits. <laughs> they remind me of the Superman versus the Elite animated film that DC did a few years yeah, back. Yeah, I can kind Never, of see that. Just kind of this kind of like fun punk rock kind of intro, like different colors. But it wasn't even stacks. just that. It was they were doing, it was like they're doing parallel dimension versions yeah. of each of the title cards. Yeah. Yes. And then it ends with, which it's funny. The comic code. The comic code. Already... Part of me is like, no one cares about that comic code anymore. No, but, it, but I think but it, it did, sets you up for what set you're going to you Yeah, that's exactly. That's what I was going to get to it. It sets you up for a, okay, this is a comic book, like, in my face. And I really hope that people yeah. watch this movie going, maybe I want to read a comic book, because this is fun. Oh, man. I, I hope so, so badly. Like, I don't usually tweet out stuff like this, but I did. Like, as soon as I was done, I was like, I said something about how good I thought it was. And I'm like, and once you're out of this movie and you want to, rightly so, see more of Miles Morales, like, start here and start here. Mm-hmm. Right. So his first one in Ultimate Comics, well, Ultimate Comics Fallout was when he first appeared, but then there was his book was Ultimate Comics Spider Man, right? right? And so, and then that was in 2011. Yeah. Uh, and then last year he just had the Spider Man book at Marvel, 
which I also thought also thought was was really great. I'm just confused by all his books because like because then there's Ultimate Spider Man and there's Miles Morales Ultimate Spider Man. There's yeah. there's quite a few different title changes they did over the years. Ultimate Miles. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Ultimate Man, Ultimate Spider man. Miles, Ultimate Spider Miles Man <laughs> comic. So. But I, I see where you like going into this. I was excited, and I want people to be excited to to experience what they experienced on the screen in a book. Because I thought uh, there were so many things about it that were so faithful to the medium of comics <clears throat> in a way that I don't think we've ever seen before. And I would say that about the movie in general. Like I. I even if the story and the characters and the other stuff wasn't as good as it was, mm-hmm. the art style and animation alone makes this worthwhile. Because I've literally not seen anything like it before. Yeah. It, yeah. it felt like it was... You know what? I, I, I feel like it was Pixar-y in the sense that the it was kind of fluid, but there was like a grit to it. A gritty... And yeah. I don't mean gritty in, in like dark like like you know freaking Zack Snyder movies I feel like and that's not a knock I just feel like it was like Pixar where there's definite feeling and emotion they're really good at that mm-hmm. you know but with a little bit of scratches on it dude and it was good yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, I I agree with that like I can not really figure out how to put that into words but that makes that makes sense yeah, um, and I, I've been reading like articles like since we saw it last Friday, just because I'm fascinated by the style and like what they did. And so there's some technical mm-hmm. terms and stuff. I'm like, I don't know, understand like <laughs> all of it. But but basically, like instead of animating like a certain frame rate, basically in animation, they did it yeah. like half as much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have different parts of it changing faster than the other part of it, which mm-hmm. gives it like that jittery kind of like wow. imperfect kind of look. Because they didn't want to use, like, they completely rewrote, like, some uh, software, like, they're using and stuff like that, because they didn't want it to feel overly smooth. So, they removed, yeah. basically, all of the stuff that usually happens in this type of animation that smooths between frames. Yeah. They said, we took that out, but then we had to be creative in how do we still create um, clarity and all that kind of stuff. And as I saw it a second time... I got to focus a lot more and notice a lot more of those things Yeah. Um, to where like if it wasn't a character that you're specifically focusing on in the frame. So it kind of be like a rack focus. You know what I mean? When they try to do that, mm-hmm. they would do that by like doubling up and offsetting like the same thing slightly. So like if you have your 3D glasses off and you know yeah. how like, you would see it and it's like you're seeing double almost. Mm-hmm. It, they did that a lot with like people in the background or foreground, depending on what you're looking at. And I thought it was such a cool, that's cool effect. Yeah. And that's not even, and that's just the normal stuff. That's not talking about like Spider Ham's specific style or Penny Parker's specific style or yeah. Spider Man Noir. Like like each character having their own specific style and color palette and all that kind of stuff was just just incredible, man. Yeah, I really enjoyed the. Um the comic book like thought bubbles and onomatopoeias and like yes it didn't seem like a gimmick like yeah it just felt really it was like oh yeah okay this is happening and they they worked really well in the movie Mm -hmm. having like the boom like in the explosions and different things like that i actually really like too what i noticed this time on a second viewing a lot more too is the lines around things like when someone would like snap or like hit something or someone would kind of like uh yell or do something like you would see the lines come out of their, yeah. their mouth like when they did it oh, gosh yeah. i loved it um so let's let's get into if we don't have any more technical stuff let's get into the characters like let's get into like first let's just jump into mouse morales right off the yeah. bat like how'd y'all feel like did you feel like as we he read felt comics, like a real kid yeah and the, like the i don't know if that was the the first time we met him but i think so when he was listening to sunflower and he's just singing along yeah with it that's what, like your first time you see him and yeah. i'm like oh yeah this is this this is a kid like you know like yeah, in yeah. high school Those and different words, things yeah. he was doing i'm like it just seemed like the fact it's that he's so running around putting stickers on things like oh he's not like he's just like a dumb kid you yeah. know this is so cool and it took him i love how long it took him to reach where he where he got, you know, like he wasn't Spider-Man for a while. Like he's fumbling yeah. around and figuring out things and doing all this stuff. And yeah. 
which um, feels very true to Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it, and I love that they took their time, but they had enough other things going on that it wasn't boring, like trying to watch him figure out. Because you had other Spider Man, you had all these other Spider Man and all this action going. Yeah. Even though he technically wasn't really doing anything like Spider Man y for a while, you know? Yeah, he was just like, I'm going to be a Spider Man, but I'm not quite there yet. But yeah, I, I like, you know, it. Definitely was a different origin for Miles Morales than it was from the comics. Like, yeah. You're not going to get into the whole, you know, Peter Parker. I mean, like, it's, it's not so different. Yeah, but I mean, it's not completely different. It's not but, so, but it yeah. is adapted. And it they streamlined fun. it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so, it would have been weird working all that flood stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think, like... And the she, fact that he was, like, kind of, like... Like he wasn't really responsible that he felt that responsibility for, mm-hmm. you know, Peter's death was just like, oh man, dude. Yeah. Like, well, you had that imprint of Peter Parker's origin almost felt like overlaid over Miles in a way. Yeah, yeah. but in a way that was still very true and very much Miles' own story. But you had mm-hmm. like he could he had the power and he could have jumped in to yes. help and he didn't. But then you also have the uncle that gets shot. Do you know what I mean that like yeah, he looks yeah. up to you and and you're like, but it's a totally different situation, right? Yeah. So where you like, I, I love. I mean, you know, I've said it before in a lot of different stories, but I love when it's not like an easy answer. Like the yeah. the stuff with his uncle being proud, like that. Yes. That was such a messy, sticky situation. There's no like, well, he's a bad guy, so I don't care. And it's not like, no, I want to excuse everything he did. Mm-hmm. No. But it's this really like twisted thing where it's like there's someone that saw something in him. Yeah. That he looked up to, but then at the same time, like, well, you see it in his face too. That, that moment, I mean, that, and that goes back to the animation in which mo- style in Miles' face or in in Miles' face and, or in and Aaron's Uncle face. Aaron's face, like when they both realize, like, oh crap, you know, yeah. like you're Dude. my nephew, and I yeah. feel like that was handled better in that movie than it was in yeah. the, in the comics. Mm-hmm. To me, like, I I really enjoy that because it was less of. Um, it, I I was more able to just look at him and be like, oh well, you're a bad guy in the comics and stuff, and in this one, like it it hurt, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it hurt a lot. Yeah, because he was like shady, but you're like, oh man, he's so good to Miles, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. You still could kind of see that that uh what that sense of loss, like in Miles' dad to yeah. Jeff. Like you, every time Uncle Aaron was mentioned, you could tell it wasn't this like. Oh, I've written him off, and I'm so much better. It's this really sad, like, man, I'm really bummed that this this broken relationship is where it's at. But yeah, I would yeah. say, going back to Miles and like that introduction, mm-hmm. my wife, like, that was one of the things that stuck out. Like, she loved that opening scene with him because <laughs> uh, she likes that song anyway. But, but having him like do the little head moves yeah. and like even try to <laughs> and like yeah. hitting his throat with like the pen. So I was like. That's and that's not just like a kid. That's like all of us, right? Like when yes. you, you love this song, but it's like I don't know it word for word every time. Um, but then I think what's brilliant about that sequence, I think it's probably still a technical thing, I guess too. But it's very much Miles' thing. Is we don't get the traditional. My name is Miles Morales, and here's my complete history and background. But you have him doing that thing, singing, which I think automatically you're drawn in, right? You're like, oh, right. I like this guy. I, yeah. I feel endeared, like toward him but then you have like the whole rush of like his parents and that interaction with him leaving and you Mm -hmm. have his walk just past his old school yeah and then getting up to the new school and walking into that new school i was like you've literally just learned his entire backstory (laughs) just now without having to have any exposition but you just see by the interaction with his old friends and with what that looks like at a new school and Mm -hmm. with his dad like I, and it was I, way more that fun learning. Opening that way. sequence was brilliant, just brilliant the way it was done. Um, I think the voice acting in this thing was fantastic. Yep, Shameek Moore, voice. Shameek Moore especially was fantastic as Miles. Yeah, from you know from like movies like Dope, and then he was on yeah. the, the Get Down on Netflix and stuff. So it, he, it wasn't stunt casting in the sense of like. We're gonna get this like young, hot, like actor, like person to do this. It was just like, man, it fit. It felt like it felt natural. Like I felt like everything like lined up and felt like they were the right pick. Yeah, Does that makes sense. Like one hundred percent, man. And, it, and with the animation, it really has to sell well. Like if you pick a bad voice, it's gonna stick out. And I think his voice worked so well. Like 
like he's he's Miles Morales like right now he's the voice like it's kind of the Kevin Conroy I know it's only one thing it's kind of like saying like I don't no, know. but I think it, I you think know what I'm saying. Right, like, though. I feel like he just he just nailed it in the sense, like, dude, I'm gonna hear that voice now as I read Miles Morales. You know, yeah. like that's that's what it's gonna be. And so they did a really good job of that. Um, there's the scene that's in the trailer of the dad. That's like the dad feels right there, where dad's just like, you know, copy that. You know, like where he's oh, like, yeah. he's like, say I love you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I love, love you, that, dad. dude. I love his dad. Love his dad's like <laughs> his dad was like my favorite character <laughs> in the whole movie. Dude. Can we just talk about Jeff for a minute? Let's like, talk about Jeff when. I, again, when you see something, I think for a second time, multiple viewings, you kind of notice different things. Man, that conversation with them on either side of that door oh, later dude. in the movie, like that got me so bad today. Uh, like to see like the way that he, I don't know, you see his dad's worldview, right? And kind of how he sees like Spider-Man's place in it and just how things should be. He seems very structured, very upright, very like mm-hmm. you're going to get this right. And then I see you see that moment where it's like a dad that's basically for all practical purposes saying like, hey, like, I just want to be a good dad. Yeah. Like, I, I see something great in you. I just want to make sure that I empower that and I'm trying to do the best I can. But he's also that, a little too hard on him. Yeah, totally. But then when he, I think when he's like, I see this spark in you and I just yeah. don't want... What is, oh, God, I wish I could remember the line better, but just... Talking about seeing that spark in him, I'm like, dude, that totally, that totally got me. How did he? How did he uh, biff the uh, great power with great responsibility? What was it that he said? I forget. What oh, it was. dude, I'm trying to remember. He said something. I don't know, but it was like he completely like messed it up. I just like the fact that everyone, oh, knows, yeah. everyone knows Spider-Man's like ah, yes. lying. He's like, like that's not even how it goes, Dad. <laughs> I just like that. I like that everyone know it. Like, oh, man, great opportunity I... comes great. Whatever it does not get like it's gonna pop. Great in head. opportunity. I don't know. I don't know what the heck it was, but it was this funny. It was like such a dad moment. Like he's like, dude, he's a cop. He, of course, he hates Spider Man. Like, dude, it's it's just <laughs> not. It, that's not the guy I, I want you to look up to. Focus on your studies. Go to this crazy like science school, and and learn and and be you know ignite that spark you got. Yeah. Um. Uh. Uncle Aaron, dude, that scene where he takes him to that secret spot where they do like graffiti on the oh wall. Oh my gosh, dude, so cool. <laughs> and the best, the one thing I loved about it, it wasn't like corny graffiti. It was like legitimate. It looked like it was legit. Yeah, and I did, did make the connection to like he had to. He was trying to come up with his idea for his paper on great expectations. Yeah. And it said expectations. I totally didn't make that oh, connection the first like, time. Yes. <laughs> it was literally but even, on the wall. <laughs> no, but even overall to the entire story, I'm like, man, uh, that's a brilliant little piece of like yeah. tie in there. Like, cause that's what Miles is dealing with, right? Is mm-hmm. the expectations of everyone else on him. Yeah. Even once we meet the other spider people, like it's their expectations and yeah. where he should be and who he should be. Yeah. His mom kind of had the short stick. Like she didn't really have much. She was just there to kind of, yeah. encourage him and be like hey don't be hard on him like to but dad. you know what i liked about um it wasn't like a big deal of like hey i'm biracial yeah. but it was like him and his mom slipped in and out of spanish like multiple oh, yeah, yeah. times and it was just like it was just part of his life yeah. yeah which i thought was great again. yeah yeah it, did, it didn't because there's a the thing like you can do something like this and go really heavy-handed in it like we get we already get it they did they did a good job of explaining who he was without making it like so like message <laughs> you know <Right. laughs> totally no it felt it felt it felt good natural so. all right anything else on on miles like obviously we're not going to like dip off of miles but like, i mean yeah the whole thing's going to come back to well, just a lot, but. more in general i i think um the what i was happy with the movie is that the reason i really came to like miles in the first place like with the comics and everything is that it's it's so cool seeing this kid who has a Spider Man in his world already. Yeah. Um, and it it's like basically like a fan just becoming Spider Man, which is like anybody who reads Spider Man, you kinda had that dream, like, oh man, what if I got the powers and stuff? And like he is that. And it was just so much fun to see him really deal with that, like in and stuff in those shoes that already been filled. Just so to see that in the movie, mm-hmm. um, I thought they handled that so well, like the fact that you know, he is, you know, like they don't hide away from the fact that he is the new Spider-Man and he's in in his shadow and everything and trying yeah. to learn from him and everything. Um, Cause that's like my favorite, that's what justified the character to me. Like when I first started reading it, cause I'm like, I'm loyal to Peter Parker, you know, when Miles comes out and like, I want a new Spider-Man. But yeah. then when you see that, it's like, oh, he's not, I mean, he's, 
he's not here to replace like your your Peter Parker. Like mm-hmm. he's he's with him and he's learning from him and he's kind of like like Peter Parker to me is like the ultimate like every man, you know, but then Miles is in a different way. Like he's like the ultimate like every fan or something you know it's like okay that's good like i feel like for me like like i, I don't know i relate to him so much because i'm like man i wish i could be spider-man one day but then he gets that those powers and it's cool to see him like deal with that like oh maybe it's not gonna be all hmm. super cool yeah and i like that they didn't get into the the um maybe they do it in a sequel or something but i like that they didn't get into like why this spider was so genetically modified oh yeah you know, it was just like you kind of like oh, there's a number on it. It kind of gave you a little bit of like, okay, there's this this yeah, spider there's something was in there. like the first spider was an accident. This one was we're trying to duplicate what the heck happened, and that's why he has the, the extra powers and stuff. And so that was cool that they didn't go into that. I mean, yeah. we didn't need yeah. that. It, yeah, it could just be mysterious. He yeah, got yeah. what he got, you know. Or mysterious. Um, oh. 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 Um, the other thing I liked with with Miles, I mean, you kind of hit on it a little bit, Delon is you got a chance to see this part of the story again of like, I think it's actually MJ says it went at like the eulogy for the Peter Parker of his universe where she says uh, he didn't, he didn't ask for the powers, but he chose to be Spider-Man. Yeah. And I'm like, holy crap. Like that's, that's what it is. And (laughs) that whole scene with everybody where Peter Parker, (laughs) so good. And with Peter Parker, even telling miles when they meet, right. He's like, I don't think you got a choice kiddo. Like, yeah, like saying yeah. like it doesn't matter if you don't want to be like you are, yeah. And I think there's that like the Stan Lee cameo, uh, just like <laughs> the the mask always fits eventually. And I'm like, yeah. dang, dude! Like you have this hero's <laughs> journey that we've seen a million times. Make but me cry. There's just this fresh this fresh way of putting it where you I have know like <laughs> <laughs> we're friends. We're friends. No refunds. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best Stan Lee cameos it was yeah. just like Agreed. had everything you want in there and like oh man so, it yeah. was really appropriate too just it was with, really, with his yeah. passing and stuff like that too um his uh his powers uh manifesting that sequence yeah. was a lot of fun oh where he like disappears yeah well even or like even the, i'm getting stuck on or the, stuck with oh yeah yeah where he's here. the hair was funny too and that's yeah. when the the speech like boxes start appearing yeah yeah is oh, after he yeah. gets his powers. Yeah, yeah. He's like, what? what? I was glad he Why commented so on... Because, <laughs> yeah, you wonder that when you're reading these comics. Well, because like... he becomes a superhero now. Now he's in a comic. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's kind of like this, like, this, like, now that he is no longer on the outside, he's now he's on the inside. And yeah. And that's kind of a good representation of that. Yeah, I love it. So. Uh, any other... Want to talk about the other spider people? Yeah, I wanted to, first. I just wanted to give a little bit of like the Chris Pine like as Spider Man. Yeah, when, that when the, Ultimate it, Universe Spider Man in the opening, blonde Spider Man. I didn't. Yeah, blonde. Okay, there we go. So I didn't get. I didn't know. You know, obviously they hid that. I didn't know there was gonna be like this other version. I just thought like, what's his face, Jake? What's his name? What's his name again? Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson was just gonna voice Peter Parker. Yeah. Right. But when they showed he was blonde, I go, that's really weird. Like, why would they? That seems unnecessary. It yeah. almost bugged me. Huh. For a little bit, I was like, blonde. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Something against blonde people? Not at all. Just like Peter Parker, you know. It, anyways, it, even because my boy's like, Dad, you know, he's, he, you know, like looking like. <laughs> I had never thought about Peter Parker ever being blonde until he was blonde. And then that was like. It's weird, right? What? <laughs> he kind of yeah. looked like uh, Chris uh, Evans. Oh really? A oh, little yeah. bit. Just oh, the character yeah. design in that moment. Yeah, I was like, a little Whoa, bit. That's weird. So, uh, I I thought you know in those quick moments, like I love the like, hey, I'm Peter Parker. You know the story. Bit then the. Oh book. my oh, gosh! Yeah. yeah, they kept doing those yeah. things. I think that was really great. One because last it is time. like we know we know the origin, but uh, I like he had a good Peter. He had a good Spider Man voice. He was really good and like, mm-hmm. and then the the, the it's just funny to compare it to like Johnson. Being this kind of the slobby, <laughs> sloppy like Spider Man. Oh my gosh, he was perfect. He was perfect. You're like, you're almost like, can he be live action Spider Man? Oh, dude, you're... Like, just because he's so like, yeah, the way he played that older character. So I was so glad we finally got an older Spider Man, or like, or not just the fact that he was older, but 
um, the rest of the franchises, you know, kind of seem to just die like right at the beginning stages of Spidey. So then having him be like this, you know, he he like peak potential, you know, Spider Man at the beginning. He was like amazing. Like it was so much fun watching him work. And seeing like, oh, this is what Spider-Man's like when he actually gets all his stuff together, you know? Like, yeah, and how he experiences wait, all the I stuff you see. I think he was see. spectacular. He was spectacular! <laughs> but I like how you see, like, he was like, oh, okay, like, he has buried Aunt May. He's been divorced from MJ. Like, yeah. you're, like, seeing all this, like, whoa. And, and for me, again, I think it's all these different facets we're seeing of mm-hmm. the core of who Spider-Man is, right? Like yeah. he, he can't get stuff right. Like it's yeah. just what Spider like he screws stuff up all the time, but he's always able to bounce back and keep plucking along, you know? And yeah. I think you see that in a different way. Cause we always see like Spider-Man either when he's beginning or at his prime. I don't mm-hmm. think we've ever seen him past his prime. Yeah. To where like, uh, yeah. he's like, while he's narrating and doing like, okay, let's do this one last time. His thing, he's literally like lying for some of it. Yeah. Saying, you know, I'm doing push ups. I'm getting in shape. <laughs> feeling good about myself. And he's like crying in the shower. Yeah. And eating pizza and stuff. <laughs> but to see, I'm like, I didn't know how I felt about that at first. I'm like, mm-hmm. this is a Spider-Man that's not trying to take responsibility and is yeah. just straight up lying about some stuff <laughs> and is like pretty shady about things. And it's kind of a jerk. I don't know. I but then you kind of love him. Love him. <laughs> yes. Dude, Aunt May is like, are those sweats? Yeah. <laughs> and everybody commenting on his It kind of got me. It. It, was, Dude, it, was was, it was very like choice, like, though. I'm pretty sure you just called me fat. Yeah. Because <laughs> then he didn't look so fat in certain angles. It was like, oh, okay, also now he's, he's, he's got Spanx on or something. Like, he's sucking it in. Like, well, yeah, you can so always good. suck it in sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and to see him as the... Because with the Chris Pine... Peter Parker at the beginning, you're like, oh my gosh, like he's totally like, hey, I'm gonna walk with you. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. And that yeah. kind of stuff. I'm like, oh, it's so great. And this guy's like, I guess I'll teach you since I have to, but yeah, yeah. um and see that like unwilling, perfect like unmotivated Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> and I love even Miles when he's like watching him eat those burgers, he's like, I have a feeling you're not gonna be a good teacher. <laughs> yeah, and then, but then he jumps right into it, like literally, like when they're escaping uh, uh, Doctor yeah. Octopus, lady. Um, then he's just like, "All right, do this. Like double tap, double yeah, tap. Yeah, like, stop. hey, you got it. Tap, you, got you know, it. tap once to, to to shoot. Like, yeah, that was cool. Like, and it felt like, felt like a very real, like, like him changing his mind. There, it didn't. It seemed like okay, that makes sense because you know Peter has that in him to like you you just know like when he's saying no and everything yeah. like if you know the character it's like well yeah he's had a lot of crap happen to yeah. him and he's scared of that but i don't know sometimes when they have the whole mentor thing or the guy who's like no nah, i don't want to deal with that and then they change their mind and get all mm-hmm. lovey like it feels really forced and like like cheap but it made sense that he you could almost feel like he wanted that to come out but yeah. like you're saying with the kids thing like he was scared of yeah. that yeah. what does he do like towards the end he was like oh you're doing oh man i love you i'm so proud of you wait do i want kids <laughs> like just like in the middle of the yeah. big fight and stuff Maybe i want kids yeah it was just like this this whole process he was like going through i feel like that if, if they do a sequel that's going to carry through and he that's where he's going to have may parker Oh Dude. my gosh, that'd be amazing! I feel like that's the result of yes, like, please. Yeah, um, I I love that scene because it felt like at that point he was like, "I believe in you, Miles. Come on!" Like he wouldn't bring him along into that if he didn't trust him. You know, no. like I love yeah. the partnership of them, and I even like that. Even though Peter Parker shows up, it still doesn't take the focus off of Miles. No, like for you get sure. your Peter Parker fans you get your Peter Parker, but you're like, this is still Miles' story and how it all mm-hmm. plays out, and so. Um, I like that they did that. Dude, I'm telling you, like, the way they crafted the story, they were really good at, like, knowing what they are trying to do and what type of story they're trying to tell. Yeah. So I had friends that were afraid that with all the spider people, they're like, well, it's just going to get all cluttered and, like, it's going to become Spider Man 3. But, they, like, <laughs> everyone was in service to Miles' story. Like, yeah. it, it didn't. Yeah. You had all those other people, but they didn't for one second make you forget oh no this is about miles yeah you had like his origin story which contained five other origin stories <laughs> yeah it, but it, it was and i'm yeah. like it boggles my mind and i think i saw like uh scott snyder the comic book writer like tweeted about it and he was yeah. like that's like next level math that i don't understand how you can like 
have all of these like separate narratives go and still have Miles come out and be shining as yeah. like the one star. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's let's talk about some of those Spider Mans. John can Mulaney. I, can I say one other thing about nope. Peter Parker? Yes. Uh, just when he does run into this universe's MJ and she oh. asks for the bread, uh, and he does that whole bit. Yeah. It's fantastic, dude. I almost wish that there was a Peter. I don't know. For, for some reason, I don't know. Like, I felt like she was still she was pretty cool. Like, oh, he's dead now. All right, I'm moving on. Like, I don't. I don't know. Like, it didn't seem like she was mourning. Ice cold. It that's did, it that's didn't this seem like universe is married. It didn't seem like she was mourning at all. You know, like was, I said, I said the eulogy. I'm fine. Like, she just wanted dude, some bread, bro. Dude, the dude that died. That was everyone your husband. else is wearing his. Face. Every, yeah, everyone's walking around wearing his. It was almost like kind of gross and distasteful. <laughs> yeah, and then homeboy's like. Hey, I'm, I'm, I am, you know. And Didn't like, she know that Kingpin tried to kill him and that he wasn't one of his friends? Yeah, so it was just, it was, just, yeah, right. <laughs> Didn't he tell you these things? Sorry, Maybe but this... you're, you're saying Peter Porker, Spider-Man. Yeah, sorry, Man. sorry. I was just like going to get into the other characters yeah. like, real quick. Like Peter Porker, Spider-Man, you know, John Spider-Ham. Mulaney. Ham. <laughs> Spider-Ham, sorry. That was uh, my, my <laughs> second son's uh, favorite character. Mine too. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. oh, dude, he was all about it. He's scary. But, Here's what I loved about him was when they were all telling their three origin stories at once. <laughs> Did you watch the part where he was a spider that was yeah. bitten by a radioactive? <laughs> that was my pig? favorite thing I've had. It's like what? And it's like because like, they're oh, saying the same thing, and then you <laughs> notice his was all always the, no. Like, <laughs> like what are you doing? Uh, John Mulaney was brilliant casting for that. Yeah, part. it was brilliant. really good. The whole, the three of them doing that together was like one of the funnest parts of the movie for mm-hmm. me because it's just like I I don't know like you're you're trying so hard to pay attention to all this nonsense is yeah. going, man. I like Nicolas Cage as you know, Spider Man Noir. Yes, yep. oh, he's perfect for that. Yeah, I punch Nazis. <laughs> yeah, I like, I punch I like Nazis. drinking egg creams. <laughs> Like it's like finally a character to just let Nicolas Cage be Nicolas Cagey, and it's I perfect. like that he There's not tons. only not only <laughs> but have it be in, fun. Yeah, <laughs> he was in black and white, but also couldn't see in color. Yeah, okay, it was a great bit. Yeah, was that so? Was that the bit? Because I I was confused whether or not he was obsessed with the Rubik's cube because he couldn't see the color, or because he was seeing color no, for the first time. No, because he was guessing what. Yeah, oh, he, that's good. That's a good point. I was seeing it as like he couldn't see it, but yeah, maybe it's because then he I took this. it back at the end on the credits and like he's like, it, I'm gonna figure this thing out. Like, and is like, how would he figure it out though if he, I don't know, I feel like there's no way to figure it out if he doesn't see color. That could yeah. be it. like whatever the that end, joke like, was, he's like, it was funny. That should the... be on the Blu ray. They just have a, a deleted scene. Explain it to us, guys. All right, here's how I do it. Can't peel the stickers off. And when he's it's talking about the. The wherever I go, the wind falls. Yeah, <laughs> like, is he in black and white? Is that, is that, Has anyone ever read Spider-Man Noir? From? No, no. I, I read two pages of it in Barnes and Noble, and then I was like, I don't like. This. I always thought it, it looked like just... a cool idea, but I never read it. Yeah, because there was like a whole line, right? There's Spider-Man yeah. Noir, Daredevil Noir. Was it Daredevil, Daredevil Noir? Noir? He's not already Noir, like. Even I think more noir, noir was like the, more the genre, noir, noir. not necessarily like. Gotcha. They did one with the band Guar. It was Guar Noir. Guar Noir. Guar Noir. <laughs> <laughs> None more black. Uh, Even so, more. so Penny Parker, you guys have any like I've never, never her. seen her before ever. Never um, heard of her. I I just I mean she was different than the stuff I read from the I I picked up the uh, they Edge of Spider Man thing right? cuz uh Gerard Way originally wrote her. Yeah, so I I read that a little bit and then she's, you know, I mean she was different than she was in that, but I mean I wasn't that attached to her. I, I don't know anybody who's crazy crazy. I mean I'm sure I really liked the tweets this. for her for her origin story too. Mm-hmm. That it's not her that having the powers necessarily, but she has a psychic connection to a spider that controls a robot suit. Yeah, I, I'm I'm up for it. And she's from the future, like the far future, like a thousand years. Like sure, Dude. um, she was fun. Yeah, it was good. But I mean, let let's be honest. If we have to have a superior female spider person in this movie, Gwen Stacy, man, yeah, so cool. It was cool having Gwen Stacy be the the like veteran, you know, like yeah, like she's been yes. in it. Because 
like I didn't I don't see things that way. Like when with the comics and everything, I'm like, okay, well, Gwen Stacy, here's this new one, and they want to have a new one because it's a female, whatever. But like, like, and I and, and I've never read them enough to even know if that's the way it is in the comics and stuff. But the fact that like she was teaching him and she was so much better than him, um, it was just really fun. Like, yeah, and she was part of like, and that makes me think like each person when they're talking about how long they've been doing it, when they're telling their origin story, it's all different. Yeah, because the Chris Pine version, it's been ten years for the yeah, Jake Johnson version, it was like twenty two years, years yeah. or something like that, and for her, it's been two years. You're, and so yeah. to have that difference, I thought was really cool because it does give you that Spider Person kind of uh, perspective from yeah. different parts of the journey. The you know? only thing that I didn't. I, or I wish not that I didn't like because there really isn't anything in this movie I didn't like if the only thing I wish they would have done is had Peter Parker go like oh Gwen like it felt like he didn't even like respond yeah, to her being Gwen yeah it didn't make any connection oh, to him you know, there was, I also there was thought a that Gwen was a little Stacey. like Gwen Stacy wow the love of my life who died because the Green Goblin threw you off the building <laughs> and I saved you and I think that I broke your neck but I'm not sure you're if I broke your neck you're Spider-Man like <laughs> dude and did she kill Peter Parker because he was the lizard I don't know. She just she just said he. In her died. background, it shows her like kicking the lizard like in a shadow, uh-huh. and he turns into a guy as he falls back. And that, when you look at Peter Parker, and she talks about him being dead, he still has like scales on his skin. Oh, I don't know. oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I was like, what? maybe I need to read some Gwen Stacy. <laughs> and oh the, her uh, color palette, I will say, when she was telling her story, that was the most drastically different because mm-hmm. just all like you had the pinks and like the turquoise yeah. and like those kinds of things, yeah. and I was like. And her costume, man, just her and Miles both, like, those are two of the best costume designs in a long time. Yeah, I mean, next to Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man is one of the best superhero costumes. Yes, and then, agreed. Like, the But if you're going to update and do different, like, these are No, that's what I'm saying. Incredible. Like, to compare, to, like, they fit really well into, like, what's already been established. Like, yes. How yes. do you make that, like, not better, but, like, fit in that world? Like, yeah. Miles is great, and then the Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen, or... Well, they don't call her that. They call they her call Spider her. Girl, right? Or Spider Woman. Uh, Spider Woman in this yeah. one, which so, they never refer to her as yeah. that the rest Isn't of the Isn't her new name refer- Silk, though? No. Or no. It's Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider. Oh, Ghost Spider. Which is That's dumb. clunky. That's really It's dumb. clunky, but I mean, Spider Gwen's weird because it's like your name's in the title. Yeah. Like, you don't want to do Spider that, right? Girl and be done with it. Like, Spider Girl. There you go. You're a girl. It's, it's and fine. You're spider. She was spider great. Girl. I thought she was yeah. a fantastic. It felt like she was the co headliner. Yeah. With with Peter and Miles. Like They got They got a sequel in. It'll be her and Miles. I like the, the. I've actually heard it's separate, but no. her and maybe Silk and Jessica Drew and like a, a female mm. heavy cast of a sequel so potentially. That but, feels gimmicky, but it could be cool. But they're great characters though. So mm-hmm. her and um, with Miles being like attracted to her, but then it not being like a love story thing and yeah, then at yeah, the end yeah. of being friends I thought that was super awesome because he, he got I'm tired he got of friend zoned. them foreseen romance no, it, he, and this stuff. he chose that though like in that moment yeah. well, what are you right. going to do she's in another dimension it's not like you can be like what's up Go. I don't know I took it as like because her whole thing was like because her best friend Peter Parker died she was like I don't do friends anymore yeah mm. and he was like hey when you decide you know if there's an opening like yeah yeah I'll be your friend kind of thing and to have that culminate at the end to be like friends yeah, um, I thought that was a really great moment, yeah. and she was great. I think the addition of the ballet flats to her costume was a great touch. Yeah, well, it gave you a reason for her like athleticism. Yep, and and like okay, how can she move around like this? Because yeah. she's got training, you know? and even visually, like it just looked rad. Yeah, it looked good. But she's got a little yeah. like black canary kind of flair to her. I feel like mm-hmm. a little bit too because she's in a band like. She has to do the buzz hair, but I mean, it looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're not allowed to like my haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. So great. So that's the, those are the spider people. Yeah. You guys about, want to talk about, sorry. Yeah, no, I was going to say like Leaf Shriver as well. I didn't know Kingpin was in this movie. <laughs> oh, the, serious? Yeah. From the trailer. I didn't, I didn't, what? I never got, I never, I never picked it out. I wasn't even sure it was him at first because I was like, can they do Kingpin? Is this just a big businessman? Yes. And it's like, King, it's Kingpin and I'm like. And Tombstone? Like, yeah, okay. I was more excited for Tombstone. I was like, oh, Tombstone. Like, we get Tombstone in a yeah. movie? What? And he's cool looking? Yeah. The- Kingpin was huge as heck. Like, well, which have was you, cool. Do you know him. what? He I didn't was, like Scorpion. But he was based You didn't like Scorpion? Of- no. Scorpion's cool. So, Bill uh, Sinkiewicz? Is that how you say his last name? Sinkiewicz. Sinkiewicz. 
Uh, it's based off of his design, Kingpin. Huh. Okay. Like he he just had this take that was like really over exaggerated, super huge, larger than life because he just wanted like a physical representation of like his. He looked like he just looked like a head on like a black square. <laughs> he just looked like a head. Which was so great for this yeah, style yeah. of animation too. Yeah, like it worked. Um, and I, so he it's was cool menacing, to see like that man. was like, like, dude, one hit and he killed freaking Peter Parker. That. Yeah. I'm like, okay, if Spidey has to go, like, there are a few ways that I feel like, it, but I'm just like, man, it, it just, it sucked so much that it fit for me for like Kingpin Where was to Daredevil? like deliver the crushing blow, you know? Yeah. Cause like, to me, I'm like, not, not Kingpin, but then of course Kingpin. Yeah. yeah. He was really menacing. He was yeah. super menacing, like pretty scary. I mean, he... Prowler was terrifying, and he took out Prowler. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. uh, oh, he Prowler. and to have his family still be like that Achilles heel for him too, I think was great to have that as oh like yeah Vanessa. a thing still. Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> yeah, it was a good. We needed something separate enough from Vincent D'Onofrio uh, to be able to. Well, that's the thing. It's it's so fresh. Because you just man, we just saw the, the greatest. But this like, definitely Disney felt like ever. its own. Yeah, thing no, it felt like its sure. own. But it's just like, okay, you you did a take that's completely different. Like again, yeah. Vincent D'Onofrio is way more like a he's like this savant like crime lord type of like he yeah. there's something up with him. He's not a hundred percent there, but everyone trembles in his presence yeah mm-hmm. but this one he's more like oh this is like a thug that's like worked his way up yeah yeah that's what this def- feels like yeah and you're like oh shoot he's gonna kill me <laughs> oh yeah no that, like but, no doubt but, like there's no there's no like oh maybe we can you know chat this out it's like nope you don't kill spider-man i'm gonna kill you bam yeah like right there and so Dude, yeah he's cold. absolutely he's cold and we already talked about uncle aaron a little bit but we want to talk about his alter ego the prowler yeah it was cool. Like I liked his, his sound. He was so cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was cool. And he was like legitimately scary at moments too. Like, they kept that. Yeah, that sound kept jump scaring me. <laughs> it's true. Dude's out. Oh and the gosh. way he was able to move like that, you're like, no, like this is even his fight at the beginning of the movie with Peter Parker. Yeah, was like really great action sequence, man. Yeah. Um. But then, dude, that. I just want to sit in a theater full of people that don't know that Uncle Aaron is the Prowler mm. just for that moment because sitting next to my son, like he gave me the biggest look like when he's in the apartment and you see him take off the mask and it's Uncle Aaron. He's like, <gasps> oh, <damn. What? laughs> um, yeah. but that, that scene though was super tense. No, yeah, it was. Yeah. Asher knew he was already like, oh yeah. No. It was like. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm not saying like everybody, but to see people experience that like, yeah, yeah. Is, is really cool. Well, you kind of, I mean, I feel like you can see it telegraphed in a little bit though, right? I think so. Especially having seen it again, like when he hops Because he's that, like, oh, he I got to go miles, fence. you know, like, oh, he's he's going to be a bad guy. You know? When he hops that fence super easily and he does like the different things, like I'm like, eh. Yeah. So, but it was, man, it was good. Okay. So let's, let's jump into, unless you guys have other things to say about the characters. Uh, I just wanted to say, um, I really liked... Uh, Doc Ock. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Was that that kind of? Is there another version of Doc Ock as a lady? There's. I don't know. Was it in Ultimates? There's one in the, in Spider Geddon right now, but okay. I mean, she's she's good and stuff. And the other thing I noticed that she was really so. Here's the things I noticed about her that I appreciate. Again, you get to see like different random details when you see the movie more than once. Is <laughs> her glasses and her like lights in her office and stuff like that are all octagon shapes. Ah. Uh. And I was like, shut your face. You have that stuff telegraphed in such a clever way. Yeah. And her uh, tentacles and stuff or whatever are a totally different style of them. They're not like the metallic, like yeah. hard ones we usually have, but yeah. it's like this. They're still like plastic. They're like, like pneumatic, like yeah. kind of like hydraulic. They like scary. Yeah. But yeah. so freaking cool. And yeah. again, like Catherine Hahn doing the voice for her, like what when, a great get for, for casting too. She's fantastic. When... It started, I was like, oh, shoot, she's Doc Ock. That's pretty cool. You know, like, you have this, like... I didn't um, catch that until he's like, what'd you say your name was again? Mm-hmm. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> Did you catch that before that, Justin? No, no, no. It was oh, a surprise okay. to me. No, no, I didn't get it. I didn't think it was her I loved that surprise, When, when the reveal came, I was like, oh, 
Oh shoot! That I thought cool. she was gonna be like an ally. I'm like, oh cool. Yeah, she's like, yeah. It felt like because so many movies do that thing where it's like, oh yeah, this scientist on the inside. Well, kind of like Venom, but um, didn't see Venom. Oh well, surprise. But <laughs> um, but spoilers. <laughs> But uh, so I'm like, oh, okay, she's gonna be the person. But like, so many times I had that thing where like, oh, yeah. this is what they're doing in this movie. The same thing as other superhero movies. They're like, no, we're not. Yeah. Like we're, we're doing something totally different. And yeah, like when you finally figure out, I was like, holy crap! Like, never, I I never dreamed that Doc Ock was gonna be in this movie. And yeah, I like that he had that line before it. Um, when he almost when he's looking at the male scientists and he's just like, oh, maybe I should change my uh, or I need to change my, my social biases. Social biases. <laughs> and he's going through his plan. It's so good. <laughs> and which then, like, totally, by the way, when you're going back into it, looks like a silhouette of Doc Ock, like yeah. traditionally. Really has like the hair and like the glasses yeah. and stuff. Oh, I was like, dude, man. there's so many great things like that. Yeah. You um, know, I wish they didn't use the terrible Ultimate Comics version of. The Green Goblin. You thought it was terrible? I don't nah. like him. I don't like oh. the, the big I thought it was demon cool. version of it. I I'm, it. I'm indifferent. Yeah. I yeah. just never was a fan of that. I thought it was cool for the moment. What did you yeah. think of Scorpion? I didn't Same, like it. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't like what the robot about version. A... I don't know. I just don't like the robot. That was like the Transformer version of Scorpion. But it's it's whatever. It's not like it, it made it awful. I just didn't. I don't care for that that version. I like that they just like it seemed like they had fun with like the each villain like doing their own thing kind of with each one. I like the spider cave like spot whatever. They, that, that was, was cool. crazy. I like that Aunt May was like, "I'm expecting you guys. Come on, let's get down here." Like it was a cool take on Aunt May. Like I, I'm glad they wasn't the same old like I'm gonna make you some wheat cakes and all that type <laughs> of stuff. Like it was like, "Come on, let's get down here. Let's take care of business." And it's like, oh. I hope she has like some good insurance, man, because like she's definitely homeless now, right? No, nah, she can just live in the, the spider cave, dude. I don't know when Peter Parker like <laughs> is dug a gigantic like base below his house. <laughs> dude, I love that he has He's the spider buggy and the it. spider okay, cycle. The spider buggy, dude. I was like, can they take the spider buggy out? I wanted to see them like cruise around <laughs> the spider dude, buggy, dude. It was so great. Oh, I love the spider it, buggy. It, dude. That took him back. Yeah, the spider buggies is one of the best. Dude, did you guys ever read uh, like Wizard Magazine? Used to have a magazine called Toy Fair, and they had put out yes, these, like, twisted oh, man. Toy Fair back in the day. theaters, and they had they had, like spider the the Amigo Spider Man was like the best spider, version of Spider Man ever because he was kind of a jerk. He was kind of like oh, I don't care. Like he's not gonna he just doesn't care about people. He's like this selfish version of Spider Man, but oh, he'd just no, be rolling around in the spider buggy. Oh gosh, I got I have I have some I should let. Him. Side note, he should be in the Spider-Verse. Amigo Spider Man is the worst guy ever. He's all about himself and he's kind of a jerk. And it's the best. And he rolls around in the spider buggy. Dude. Anyways, <laughs> I love the spider buggy. It's such a goofy nineteen seventies like yeah. idea. All the costumes in the spider cave were, were pretty sweet. Yeah, there was there was the Iron Spider one was in there. Iron Spider, there was one with a shield symbol in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. You had the one with the cape, which is like a Doctor Strange kind of. It looked like one. a Doctor Strange cape, huh? And then they also mm-hmm. had the one from Secret Empire, mm. the black with the green accents. Yeah. They had the PS4 game uh, yeah, costume was in there. Oh, that was in there? Yeah. Nice. The, um, it, okay, so it felt like the, the first Spider-Man, his story really was like all the Tobey Maguire movie stuff. Like mm-hmm. they leaned into like, here's all the moments you kind of know as a moviegoer watching this. Like yeah. they, it was like, here's when I saved, you know, from Doc Ock. And here's when I, we kissed upside down. And, and there were some slight changes. Like, I think it was reversed, but... There was a lot of uh, callbacks to like the diner scene where the car's coming to hit him and MJ. Yeah. You know, yeah. all those scenes. Like, I don't. Did you guys see anything the besides dance the Raimi reference? For was it, there was sorry. no. Uh, I, I still like the Andrew Garfield notice, stuff in there. Yeah, I didn't notice <laughs> any references. They to stayed that at far all. away no from that. No Garfield and no um, Tom Holland. No, no, I didn't. I didn't see anything. Nice. Just curious if you guys. Like, that would be. That'd be interesting. Yeah. I. I I, man, I love this movie. It was so good. It made me, it gave me a lot of good feelings. Like, <laughs> I was satisfied watching it. Like, this is a good movie, you know? And it was visually awesome. Yeah. And, like, going into, like, the music made it feel real. Like, yes. I would say, like, the music oh, as a whole separate thing. It wasn't corny, like, music from, like, a kid's. Because it's not a I don't think this is a kid's movie. I think it's Mm-mm. just a movie anyone can enjoy. The music made it feel real. Yeah, and we didn't right. talk about it before when we were talking about Miles, but that sequence where his like leap of faith like thing, 
where he like first jumps off of that building, that yes. song, what's up danger. Like that was, <laughs> that's an incredible sequence. And actually what's funny is I've listened to that song a ton since, but seeing that sequence for some reason, and maybe because it just came right after the dad sequence, but yeah. just, he's hearing like, it's a leap of faith. And like, you have the spark in you. And like, even his uncle hearing his uncle Aaron's voice of like, you keep going, like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. those kinds of things. Like it was actually really emotionally poignant for me too, to see that and to see him like creating the costume on his own in his own way. And that's the thing too, is I think in seeing the, the lead up for the movie, seeing that symbol being spray painted, I'm like, huh, like that's kind of interesting to take that direction instead of like what it is in the comics, but okay. But then to think like over the course of the movie, like it makes sense with his story, right? Yeah. Where like, of course he's going to make his own and it's going to look like that. And then noticing it today, I'm like, dang, dude, even like the edges of like his fingers and stuff like that, they're not like these perfect lines. Like you can see where the black yes. spray paint mm-hmm. is. I'm like, oh, that's what I love that. I love that it was like, because it leaned into his artistry. Like, yeah. okay, I'm creating stuff. Mm-hmm. I love this. Like, because that's not part of Miles Morales' story. You know, that's not his his background. Like, oh, he's doing some street art and stuff like that. So I love that that yeah. was why he had a reason. Because he's like, oh, yeah, I made it myself. Like, I love that he Dude, like, pointed I love it out. That. Like, <laughs> hey, yeah. FYI, there's a little bit of pride still. Because like, in the comics, I don't feel like Miles is... He has a little bit of wit, but it's not Peter Parker wit. And it doesn't have to be. But in this... He, he doesn't have wit. He becomes a little more cocky when he becomes when he gets finally becomes comfortable yeah. as Miles as mm-hmm. me as Spider Man. It's just like yeah, I made it myself. Yeah, like there's this like, <laughs> yeah. like okay, I'm cool. I'm a Spider Man now, and I love that because and even in the animation, it didn't it wasn't perfect. Yeah, like, when you saw when you, oh because like, you can really tell with the Spider Man logo, it's just kind of like a but on the hands you could see. Like, yeah, oh, okay. I love being able to see that on the hands and the feet. You can see like the yeah. kind of rough edges where the spray paint was. Loved it. Um, and dude, just those shots again, like thinking that moment at the very end where he's talking to everybody, like doing that final voiceover <laughs> and he's doing all the twirls and flips and stuff and hits that Spider-Man pose yeah. and the, and the, and the city like changes over to nighttime. Yeah. I like about melted into my seat. Like it was just incredible, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Just like. Gosh, man. And it's so meaningful. I mean, like, what do you guys think? Because here's what I'm thinking, too. Like, this movie is literally about inclusion and representation in a way that feels very honest, very authentic. Yeah. Not preachy. Not, you know what I mean? Not forced. It's like, like, hey, because all their other stories end with, and I'm the only Mm Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Like, every, every one of their origin stories, like, I'm the only one. And he's like, I'm not the only one. Yeah. And for me, it feels like the most brilliant and gracious middle finger to all the people that didn't want a new Spider-Man and didn't want anyone else wearing the mask. Yeah. Cause the whole point of this movie is anyone can. Yeah. And for me, I'm like, and it makes me, it makes me emotional. Like to think like what an honor to Stanley and Steve Ditko and yeah. what they created. <laughs> yeah. Cause that's like literally yeah. the core of Spider-Man is that he's not a billionaire. He's not an alien. Yeah. He's not a God. Just he's a not kid. a super soldier. He is literally just someone who randomly had this happen to him yeah. and he didn't get to choose what happened to him, but he got to choose what he did with it. And I think you see that in the most beautiful way, um, in Miles's story. Um, and so when he gets that and he was like, because you know, any, any of us could be, yeah, and I'm like, dang! Like yeah. it, when that final scene hits, I'm like, I'm I'm done. Like that was, <laughs> I'm in. Like yeah. I get it. I love that. That was why they created Miles, though, because it all happened because of the stink with Donald Glover. Dude, and so yeah. Brian Bendis was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna make a different Spider-Man. <laughs> like it all rooted from that, and it was great. And yeah. here we go. We have this really great character that's been with us almost ten years. Yeah, you know, and now, now because of like a movie like this, it's only a matter of time before he hits like the MCU. You know, we can only hope. Yeah, like I mean, he's he exists. I mean, not like not like I want. He exists because freaking Donald Donald Glover Glover is the Prowler. Yeah, dude. Like if you go back to Homecoming, yeah, yeah, that's true. So he seems like the lamest lamest version of the Prowler, but. He's the lamest version of the Prowler right yeah, now, but man, he can get better. Yeah, he can get better. Uh, but. No, that's totally true. And not like I want to not see Tom Holland do anything else because he's great too. Yeah. But but they can coexist too. Like they coexist yeah. now. That's true. That's true. Like and, and that's and that's the thing. Like with 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 just 
let's try something different and see how it connects. Miles Morales, when they destroyed the, the entire Ultimate Universe, it's gone. They're like, but people like Miles. Like, no one cares about Ultimate Wolverine. Who cares? <laughs> like, who cares about Ultimate Comics Wolverine? We care about Miles Morales. People yeah. connected with Miles Morales. Like, for a bit there, I said it. Like, Miles Morales was the best Spider-Man comic because it was it just was. good. Like, I was just done with the... I Super was Spy Peter Parker was not... Was not yeah, I, I just wasn't loving... Like, I think you... I think Delon liked it. Like, you were reading Spectacular, right? Spectacular you liked, right? I was reading Spectacular. I wasn't a fan of Amazing with the spy stuff and all that. Yeah, I was just... Yeah, I was done. So, Miles' stuff was was always good. Like that's probably some of the funnest comics. Like, there's not a spot in the in the Miles like books where you're like, this was lame. Like when he went to Japan, that was cool. Like, that was when he true. Went, yeah. you know, like that was like what? He and he's talking off. about like not being Spider Man, and I believe he. Yeah. I, for a second, I was like, oh, like he's gonna not be him anymore. Like, what? Yeah. I don't know. I like Genki. Like in it, oh, yeah. like it yeah. was. It was funny. He was there, and they obviously went a whole different. They didn't make him so like chubby, but it was like. We didn't, I was kind of like, are we? Gonna, I like that was the character talk to that they become best, best buds at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So because they even recreated real quick, like it was him upside down with his mask. Yeah, kind of off. Like it was like recreating that uh, scene from the comics where uh-huh. he first finds out who he is. Nice. Uh, yeah. Which also they do a fist bump, and that was one of my favorite things between Miles and. Spider Gwen, by the way, mm. they did something to Kingpin, and then they it just they oh, they yeah. fist bump, and like the automatopoeia was dap. Yeah, <laughs> like I was like, dude, I love it. Yeah, such a good movie, man. Okay, so let's get towards let's we're gonna get towards the wrap. We actually have a couple questions. Oh, yeah, so about this questions. specifically. Yeah, there are. We have a few questions that came in, but we'll we'll right we'll, on. we'll touch into the ones that are like. Um, focused on this so it's really just everything else is based on aquaman so let's go to spider-verse do you guys think spider-verse will pave the way for more animated or mocap superhero flicks i hope so yeah Uh, yeah me too well i just the same as dark knight had everybody responding by making dark and gritty movies and deadpool had everybody responding by trying to make you know adult superhero movies i for better or for worse i i think it will like i don't think people are going to get the point that oh yeah this is a movie where somebody really cared about these characters and tried to do them service they're going to go oh people like animated superhero movies and we're going to see a few of those yeah because they always learn the wrong lessons it seems but exactly so (laughs) real quick this question was from uh garrett grev at garrett w-a-t-o so give a shout out to what's up garrett Thanks for the question. Matt, what do you think? I kind of have, maybe I have a little more optimism. Maybe this movie is rubbing off of me and I have some optimism that I, I don't, I don't want everyone to think like, cause what have they been reacting to before? Right. The MCU quote unquote formula for success. So, mm-hmm. Oh, we need, everybody needs a live action thing. I'm like, does everybody need live action? Does squirrel girl need to be live action? Does Kamala Khan need to be live action? I don't know. Like, can we make, because if they could make quality movies in various styles and formats and mediums, yeah, I think that's a win. Yeah, like I've I've become less and less enthused with like live action adaptations of things. Like we don't have to have a live action adaptation of everything. Mm-hmm. Looking at yeah. you, Disney, uh, like it just doesn't need to be. Well, all the I time. mean, is it really live action? It's just. It's just no Lion King and, is not live action. Yeah, it's just animated. But I'll just put that put that out. Fake. There. Lion King is not it's live CGI. action. It's, it's CGI. It's not being billed as live action either, though. It's a different term. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, but they're recreating it shot for shot. This yeah. isn't a Lion King episode, though, so I apologize. Okay. I've never seen it, so I don't know. Any other Spider Verse questions, or was that 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 was it? Me? So for me, I just think that what I hope that it does is let's. Like studios know, hey, you know, there's an audience for animation, and animation doesn't have to be dumbed down. You can be innovative, That's and this correct. is what they did. Sony, like, and and everyone gets Sony crap, you know, like what the heck is Sony doing? Like Venom and all those weird things, and the decisions that they're yeah. trying to make. Like whatever was going on in the animation department when they gave this the green light, good job, and good job to like, like I think we're giving a lot of credit to like Phil Lord in. Um, What's some, who's the other cat? Chris Miller. And Chris Miller, but it's the directors. Yeah, they they weren't directing. Phil yeah. Lord wrote the script. There's three the directors. Bob Preschetti, Peter Ramsey, and Rodney Rothman. 
which I don't know what these cats have done, but they did this. I guess one of them worked on, one of them wrote uh, 22 Jump Street, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. So some funny, like, some uh, funny, like, uh, movies out there. You might be like, oh, okay. So they've got some comedy chops. Um, Rise of the Guardians, the Zack huh, Snyder, which was like, directed um, owl movie. So that Minority good. Report. Yeah, and then um, what else we got? What is Bob Perchetti? He was part of, he did Puss in Boots, which I didn't like that. And <laughs> so, but he's got some animation and cred. But, anyways, I still remember I took my little boy to see, my oldest boy to see Puss in Boots when that came mm-hmm. out. In the middle of that movie, he's all, yeah. Daddy, I don't like cats. <laughs> can I just, can I, uh, can I correct something you just said? Rise of the Guardians is different than. The Guardians movie you were thinking of with sorry. the owls. Rise of the Guardians is the one that actually had like Jack Frost, Santa oh, Claus. Oh, right? sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Which is actually re we watched that a couple weeks ago with my kids, and it's pretty cool. Okay. I forgot it the, the, that's the owl fun. one sorry. completely Legends until just Goom. now. It's all that's good. A different thing. But yeah. Whatever. Uh, he's, he's got he's got he's got some some experience. Yeah. And th- thank you, all three of you guys. Like, thank you so, so, so much. And I also read there were 170, I think, animators working on this. Holy nuts, dude. Uh, all right. Um, I was gonna say too. Like I, I'd hope that that happens to where, um, where people can start to realize that their that animation isn't limited to being dumbed down and all that. Because like I thought that was already a thing. You know, I thought we were kind of already there. But um, like I was telling you guys earlier, I I ran into a guy who had all the Spider Man gear at the comic shop, and I was yeah. like, "Have you seen?" And he's like, "Well, no," because. It's like animated. I don't like the animation. Like a few uh, people I talk to, they're like, "It's good," even though it's animated. I'm like, "Yeah." Why would you like, think it's not? Even though, like, yeah, it's like that kind of question. <laughs> I'm just like, what? Wait, you describe this this guy again because you described this earlier, and I want you to describe this guy too. Okay, AT. sorry. Give us a visual. Give us if a visual. he's listening, you guys are gonna lose a view or something. All right, now, comic nerd um, guy. So he he just he had his uh, like Spider Man necklace. It had this cool like little thing that like popped off of the thing. So it was like bronze, and then it had the color on it. Anyways, <laughs> and then he had like Spider Man Spider Man necklace earrings. Okay, he's got yeah, Spider-Man necklace negligee. Um, and the negligee. <laughs> no. He was for his Spider Man negligee. If those exist, and then he had I'm sure they do. Superherohype.com. He had the um, the little uh, studs like with Spidey. I'm like, dude, like I'm so excited because I'm like, oh, I'm in the comic shop and yeah. talking to people. I mean, talk to this guy about Spider Man, right? And he was already yeah. talking about superhero movies, and he's like, nah, I'm, I'm probably not going to see that one. I'm like, well, why? Why? Like, you should have fought why? the street. Like, let's go outside right now. <laughs> I'm like, you love this character. I'm like, I told him, I was like, dude, like, no, you need, you need to go see. This. He's like, no, nah, I just don't like, like. But he said he didn't like the animation, so maybe it's not that the fact that it was just animated. Whatever, man. But oh, I've had a few people. They're like, oh, well, that's the. It's just the animated one. I'm like. You're sleeping. The Iron Giant should have broken this for you. Pixar and their many things should have broken this for you. Mask of the Phantasm back in freaking the nineties should have broken this for you. Like yeah, I don't know you if know I what? Put that People get Mask of the Phantasm a lot of awards. I'm like, it's not that good. Well, I like it. I don't care about the awards. I like it. Yeah. You, you can go. fight me, whatever. So but, Into the Spider Verse has been winning a lot of awards. I don't know if it's gonna get any Grammy stuff, but I would love for it to like get some type of noms because yeah. it's it's nominated for a Golden Globe. Is it for best animated film? Nice. And that was wins. like the week before it was released. It's so, so good. It's it's so really good, good guys. Uh, I can't wait do to we own even this. dare? Uh, do, we? do we rate or not? I'm rate. going there. I'm We're going, going to there. rate, but do we want to rank? Okay, first these? let's rate. This you gotta movie. say let's... something not good about it, though. I did. I don't have anything. I said that I didn't like that. Peter Parker didn't. Oh, they know didn't who recognize Gwen. Gwen. Oh yeah, Other and he that, didn't like the Scorpion. And yeah, and he didn't like Scorpion. Like what? And he didn't like Green Goblin. I, I like, like the Scorpion Goblin. was yeah. Hispanic. Like I just thought that was cool. Touch. That's it. I can care less, dude. I just thought I didn't like <laughs> wow. that he was a robot. Racist. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, I he, didn't care. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't impact the stupid robot version of him. It felt like a McDonald's toy. Like you want me to get into it? it felt like a Happy Meal. Like oh, oh yeah, no, the design itself like wasn't anything. I didn't care about that. I was like, just make him Scorpion, dude. Like why do you got to make him like a robot? So are we going to rate this and Let's then rank, rank it? Rank it first. Do you want to talk about Let's the post credit scene at all? <laughs> oh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Let's get into the post credit scene right now. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, I literally, awesome. <laughs> I, I told Delon, I stood up and spun in a circle, like when I saw that freaking Miguel O'Hara yeah. was on the screen. <laughs> Guys, he's not a great character. No. I will put that out there. No, I but like him. But there's something you about, some of it I loved he's... Spider-Man 2099 when it first came out. That I all the 2099 stuff. I was a 90s kid. I was like, sure, I'll check out all this. You're crazy all Doom stuff. 99. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> In 2099. X Men 2099. Doctor Doom 20- is still a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Punisher 2099. He still kills everybody. Yeah. Uh, In the future. No, but Miguel O'Hara stuff. for for me, I was like, I thought it was a rad design. I thought it was cool it's to see design. like the difference in his power set and who he was. Yeah. And so anyway, like. That being said, he's not like one of the ones that like stand the test of time necessarily no. for a lot of people. But to see him, I was so stoked. And then the fact that he called it a goober, but it was actually a freaking thing to be able to travel through the multiverse intentionally. Mm-hmm. I was so excited by that <laughs> prospect. And then where does he go? Back to the beginning. Oh, gosh. And I love that they did that, the whole meme, because that's been a thing. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. like so that was really hilarious. And at least got a tiny bit of J. Jonah Jameson in there. That was oh nice. yes, that's I true. We need some jokes. But I, I loved it. like it the so few fun. moments with him because I, I I'm not a huge fan of 2099 just because I don't like his personality as much, and that's the main thing I like about Peter. But like he had a different like personality, and even just those few moments he had with him, like. This guy's kind of cool. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to hang with this guy a little yeah, more. He seemed cool. And he was yeah. another voice actor uh, under the radar as well. Who was it that did Oscar voice? Isaac? Oh, dude. how great is that? You know what they call him on IMDb? Oscar they just Isaac. call him interesting person number oh. one. <laughs> interesting person number one. <laughs> yeah, interesting person He's number one. He's pretty interesting. He is. So it was Greta Lee? Was that the voice that talked to him then? Yeah, that was his assistant, Lila. Ah, Greta Lee. There you go. So, yeah, Love interesting it. person number one. Okay, the movie's out. Change it. Yeah, uh, no more spoilers. So, all right. Sorry. So we're gonna we're gonna get to some. some we're gonna rating. rate these things. Gonna, okay, let's rate it. Delon, you have to rate this movie. Gotta go. Let's go. Go. Don't go. Trash. Gotta go. Yeah. This is the easiest gotta go exactly. probably ever in the history of this show. This is a gotta go, dude. Like you gotta go. Yeah. This I asked movie. my kids, and yeah. they gave it a gotta go. Did you really? Did you give them the, the rundown? Yeah, Good. I was like, "Here's your options." I I made it a don't go a go and a gotta go just to simplify it a little bit oh. for them. But they were like, "Yeah, Costello was like, it's a gotta go, Dad." Yeah, you 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 know that it's like hit the kids when they're like, "Dad, I want I need I need a Miles Morales like action figure that's the same size because they have Miles Morales. They have those you know the oh, big the ones, ones, <laughs> the ones that like they have that one, but like." My oldest boy, he's like, Dad, I want one that's like the same size as like Spider Man, like Homecoming, and like, you know, he wants oh, dude, the Marvel nice. Legends size. Yeah. Which Dad found. Ooh, oh, nice. Merry Christmas. There was a double pack with that and Spider Gwen. Oh, I saw the double pack. Yeah. So I found it. All I've seen is Spider Gwen and the Prowler. I've also yeah. been looking. But those aren't, but those aren't the Marvel Legends style. They have a Marvel Legends two pack with Miles and. Oh, Gwen. I didn't realize that was a Marvel Legends, the two pack. I saw yeah. the two pack. Yeah. Dude, and this thing, I mean, we're talking about toys, we're talking about merchandising and stuff, that's fine. But can I just say, like, part of rating this so much is Mm -hmm. not just that my kids enjoy it, but that there's, I think we said similar things when Black Panther probably came out earlier this year, Mm -hmm. is that it's not just a good movie, but it feels like an important, like, really special kind of movie. Like, it feels like it's done something special. Yeah, I feel like this movie's better than Black Panther. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Black Panther was good, but it was like, it was, you know, coming back from, like, Let's remove yourself from like the hype and stuff from like February. Like, oh man, it's coming out. Like, you're like, it was a good movie. It wasn't like amazing. Like, you look at the special effects and you're like, yeah, that end scene where they're fighting in the train, like, that looks like crap. Oh, I loved that movie. I, I'm not saying I didn't like the movie. I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> yeah, I love that so movie. So I don't, I'm not trying to, I'm I, not trying to like back end crap on it. I'm just saying, like, no, I think Spider Man Into the Spider Verse is a better movie. The Spider, here's what Spider Verse does it's the kind of movie that takes other good movies and moves them down the list. Mm. Yeah. Like if that's that there takes go, that's a, that takes a good movie to be able to do that. Like uh, we're gonna rate, I mean, rank these, but like I would say for most of these, it's not because they're bad movies, but because this is so good, yeah, it it trumps them. Like it it, it just kicks them down the the list. Yeah, Delon, do you want to go first on rating top ranking? 
It's got to go. All eight? Oh, yeah. It's, it's got to go, Fargo. Go. Yeah, but let's... ranking. All eight of the Spider-Man movies. All eight Man of the movies. Spider-Man movies? Oh, Oof. gosh. You got to do it, dude. Are you going to include Venom in this? Yeah, it's a Spider-Man movie. Uh, it's, in the, it's, it's in the Spider-Man mm, universe. So like, you're starting from if the... Black Cat and Silver Sable came out, I'll break that. that. Whatever. Starting from the bottom? You go where you want to go. I'll start from the bottom. Spider-Man 3. Because... I hate it. Um, <laughs> you do. You hate Spider Man Three. I, I I hate it so much. I don't hate it. Like I I feel like it just did me wrong. I love it, the dancing scene. I, I hate it. I'm sorry. I, the movie yeah. is the worst. The rest of my family still hasn't seen that movie. That's how much I hate that movie. I'm like, we're not watching that. <laughs> not in my house. I can't think of any part of that movie that I Arena was like, oh it. no, but what about this part? And you guys know me. Like I, you do. do I'll yes. find a part and be like, okay, well, it's the salvageable. Is really a good person. I am. Like, I'm deep the, down. He's good. The best kind of person. And <laughs> all right, let's keep moving. Number seven. Oh, but okay. I'll put Venom even above that because even though Venom was trash, like it was not a good movie, I still enjoyed it. Whereas I could not enjoy Spider Man three. Okay. I enjoyed watching Venom in all of its crappy glory. Okay. Um, and then let's see, I'll put uh, Amazing Spider Man, the first one. Okay. Because you know I I liked it. It was fun. Whatever. Mm. Like they they did some things that I didn't fun. agree with. Uh, some of the Spider-Man parts, like the this is the part, the salvageable part, like the 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 car car thief See, guy. He was mean. He was mean. In that that scene. saved the whole. The, he's like, oh, you don't get it. I just I, I made these webs myself. I'm like you're a jerk, Spider-Man. He's being a jerk to just a car thief. Give his list, man. <laughs> Sorry, I, we don't need to give a third degree. Fine. This is going to take right. forever. We have to argue. Amazing about Spider-Man everyone. too. Yes, just because I love the Spidey in that. Like it was. Yeah, Fireman Spidey is really great. He's great. Yeah. Um. Then, oh, <laughs> this is where it gets really difficult. Uh-huh. Uh. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Not because it's bad, but I'll put Spider Man one, mm-hmm. and then I'll have to put uh, Homecoming. Mm-hmm. Oh. Then I'll put Spider Man two. <laughs> Because Spider Man Two just has a special place in it. Like it, it's such a good movie. Um, and then even MJ, just one kiss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we don't need to get into that. Kirsten Dunst was the and worst. And then yeah, then Spider Verse. Yeah. All right, Matt. Uh, very similarly, I would put Spider Man Three at the bottom. Yes. I would put Venom up from that just barely because it still sucked really bad. <laughs> I would put. I, I will go with you on the Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2 order, because I actually still haven't ever watched Amazing Spider-Man 2. You haven't seen Spider-Man 2? You've Spider-Man never 2? watched it? Amazing Spider-Man 2? No. What? There's good parts in that movie. Why? It was one of my favorite uh, designs for Spider-Man, for sure. What? Are, why yeah, that are costume they... was great. I don't. When people say that Homecoming's the best costume, they're lying, because no, Spider-Man, not. Amazing Spider-Man 2 is It's a good costume. costume. It was like, yeah. straight from the page. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, so is Homecoming in, in a way. It was just more, one's more McFarlane, You need to watch that Ramita. movie. What is it? Okay, well, I'll watch it. Sorry. Anyway, the only, thing, the only like, thing Homecoming has on the Amazing Spider-Man 2 costume is the eyes, how they move. Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so, and it makes more sense. In the so you have, uh, then above that, I'll also put Spider-Man, and then I'll put Spider-Man 2. I It, it has a place of nostalgia for me, but I don't think it stands the test of time as well as some other people think that's my opinion uh-huh. then i would put homecoming and then if there was a way to put spider verse about four or five spots up from that <laughs> it, it's yeah. it's for me it's like spider verse is easily one of the best animated movies i've ever seen uh and no contest the best spider-man movie i've ever seen like mm. for for me it's like not even like oh it's kind of close to spider-man 2 and homecoming i'm like nope those are both good this is light years ahead in my mind yeah all right so a big giant asterisk at the bottom of my list is infinity war well i want to go miss the stop <laughs> this is that part you're just like you just feel bad for spider-man you're just like oh, did you just turn part. spider-man into john travolta <laughs> i don't know he's just he's, oh, i want to go mr oh, stock <laughs> Mr. Hey, Carter. Hey, yo, Mr. <laughs> Stock. I want to go here. I just want to dance. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, number eight. I didn't watch Venom, so it's at the bottom of my list. Um, I'm going to try to rectify that in the next. Yeah. So, like, Mike, when Mike Trell was on, I was like, 
That poor guy. My heart broke for him because he wanted that movie to be good. And I just knew from the Gosh, onslaught dude, that from, movie is going to be a just at the a crap jump in a hot that dog movie, bun. it is not good. Gosh, yeah. I almost wanted like, can we watch it together? I would love to. I would I, love to I, laugh I at this movie yet. with have you, you. You haven't seen it. You've seen it. I saw it in the theater, oh, that's yeah. Right, that's right. I barely saw it before oh, it was out of theaters. It's like, yeah. Anyways, Finish this list, dude. That's eight. Seven, Amazing Spider-Man, because that movie is just the wrong... They don't know. The people who made that movie were like, let's make the Batman version <laughs> of Spider-Man. You didn't like the Footloose Spider-Man? Was that what it was? He was just too cool. He's like, I'm a cool Spider-Man. It was Footloose, dude. He was in that abandoned warehouse, like oh, doing his sure. skateboarding and oh, dancing yeah. and stuff. He's like, I skateboard. And I take cool photos. I was like, that was the worst costume, dude. It Amazing was really Spider-Man. bad. The I hated Oakley the line lenses, the, the lines down the side. I, I hated it. It was and like get it, was it bad. the belt, the lack of the belt, the yellow eyes, me. like. Guys, yeah. it I hate to say, it, but we're getting derailed. Yeah, we're getting derailed. Matt, Matt wants us to keep going. Okay. Sorry. So Spider-Man 3, because I like the dancing. I think it's fun. I think it fits the Raimi vibes. The stuff I didn't like was the weird ham-fisted, like, New Goblin, yes. Venom. And that long singing scene. That it part was, was so really bad. weird. And then he hits MJ. Like, you didn't get a hitter, dude. Like, why'd you hit MJ? That was kind of messed. That was dark. That's even, probably just Tobey Maguire, man. Even symbiotes don't do that, man. So anyways, uh, that's that. Amazing Spider-Man 2. With all the problems it has, there is some fun stuff. Like I like yeah, Paul Giamatti is. Rhino. I love the that opening Rhino scene. design is really cool. Mm-hmm. Spider Man, like you haven't seen it, but there's a fun scene with Spider Man as a fireman, and in Spider Man, like the opening where he's where they're getting like the yes. like the like the isotope, whatever the heck those those things are. <laughs> that stuff's cool. Um, and, and Gwen Stacy's great in that movie. I love her. She's so great. And so okay. Everybody the, makes fun of the the kid part at the end, but I love the kid oh, part. Oh, the kid part's the best. I love yeah, it. Yeah, there's good spots in that movie. Like, why would you let your kid? I don't care. It's yeah. fun. They learned, and but they didn't learn at the same time. It was like so good, Sony, and then like, oh, Sony, you still are not good, Sony. Um, then there's Spider Man. Like, Spider Man's a good movie. There's some, you know, it's it's just yeah. Spider Man Two's better than Spider Man One. A lot of nostalgic yeah. love. And then there's Spider Man Homecoming, which it gets so much right. And Tom Holland's great. Like, mm-hmm. okay, finally you have the nerd Spider-Man and like the quippy Spider-Man. You have you have Toby and Andrew together. You know, like you got that perfect yeah, gosh. thing together. Toby, sorry, Toby McGuire was in retrospect. He, he was I mean, good, Kirsten Dunst were horrible. He's a great Peter Parker. Yeah, he's not a good Spider-Man. Even that, no quips. he was. He was not that. Which quip? There were like zero quips. One quip. Hey, let mom, let, let mom and dad talk. And that was it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. shot. That was the only quip he's ever had. And then number one is Into the Spider Verse. That movie's hands down the best Spider Man movie ever made. If you disagree with me, we'll fight. And and I'll bring Delon too. And he'll say, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. I Good just want to make a note that there's a huge gap between um Venom and Venom <laughs> and, and uh, Amazing Spider Man one. All right. I don't want to That's put them close to each other. Cool. I don't well, want people will be confused. I hope that everyone goes out. I mean, there's a lot of movies coming out right now. Like, you can either watch what's her what's the actress's name again that is in Into the Spider Verse. Haley Steinfeld. So you can you can go Field. see Bumblebee, which Field. I haven't seen. I actually heard it's good. Yeah, it's go getting great reviews. See, you can go see her in that, or you can hear her in Spider Man Into yeah. the Spider Verse. I think Into the Spider Verse is going to be where you should spend your money this holiday season. I think mm-hmm. it's a good movie. Yeah. And if it you gives have to pick all one. the feels, it's so good. I'm telling you, like. Don't let it. Don't be that guy that Delon met at the comic shop, who's like, I don't like animation. This is great animation. It's a great story, and it's the best Spider-Man movie ever made in the history of time. If you love Spider-Man, or if you love fathers, or if you just love, love people, or yeah, if, you don't even have to love Spider-Man. Yeah. Like I'm not. I've never been anti-Spider-Man, but he's never been like my main thing. Yeah, and like ever since I saw this movie last Friday, I'm like. I'm obsessed with Spider-Man right now. Yeah, like, like there's I, literally a spider in Matt's house right now, and he won't kill it. We're like, dude, kill this spider, dude. I'm just no kidding. way, dude. Everywhere. It might have a 42 on it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want, I want a Miles Ooh. Morales like hoodie. I want like a T-shirt. Like, I want all the things. Like, this is fantastic. It is fantastic. Sorry, I was gonna do and amazing. It. I was gonna start stuff up again. I just was spectacular. I didn't get to mention the fact so that bad. I loved how how oh, nonchalantly was... he just flipped this spider. Yeah, it, was a stupid it spider. bit him, and it was like this big dramatic thing. And he's like, huh. yeah. <laughs> I like, laughed like way true. too hard what is on that the, part. What does the forty two mean? That it 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 is just the like test they number forty two. Yeah, the test. That's it though. It's not like I mean forty two is like the meaning of life according to the. 
um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, maybe. Okay. Oh, well, maybe there's a tie-in there. And it's a really good Coldplay song. There Anyways. Yeah. So, <laughs> if we were ranking Coldplay albums, guess what? Their newest <laughs> one would be Trash Juice. All right. So, that being said... Finally, something we can agree upon. Hey! Delon, how can people tell you? Thank you for being on the show. Dude, Delon just ate like 72 Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, by if the way. If you want to just 42. say that right now, <laughs> if just say it and I'll, my ears will Siri. burn and I'll assume that it, it was from you. Or you can, I what is it? Twitter. Harold or Delon <laughs> at Twitter, which I never at go t- on. <laughs> and those, <laughs> so, obviously, <laughs> I'm on the Twitter. Yeah, we'll, we'll link them in the show notes. All right. <laughs> Matt. You can find me on Twitter at Matt Ritchie. Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at J underscore Rocca. You can find the show at Let's Go Comic Show on Twitter and Instagram. And you can follow us uh in other ways. Actually, you're not following us, but this is, <laughs> just go to our website. Go to www.letsgopodcast.com. Please join us We're on Patreon. Here. Go to patreon.com slash letsgopodcast, and you can help support the show. That'd be fantastic, but the best thing you can do is follow all of our social media accounts and give us a fantastic five-star review on iTunes. That would be fantastic. That would help the show out the best. And right now, you can be in the running to win something amazing. Like, I know this show is all about Spider-Man, but you can win yourself a Black man of Funko Pop. Black Manta. Oh, oh the most B.A. dude in the world no. is ready. Delon, he is. Yes, yes, <laughs> Delon, he is. He's got a fantastic prepare, helmet. Prepare your heart. Prepare Delon. your heart, dude, Delon. I don't know what ta- you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you, can, you can win that, but what you need to follow the show on Instagram and Twitter and leave us a five-star review and positive comment on the podcast app and you can win so there you go nice all right so there you go Mm, done (laughs) i was like what else am i gonna say go out and be a hero go out be a hero that's right hey you know what you can wear the mask any of us can wear the mask anyone can be spider-man my name is justin i'm matt i'm delon let's go let's go let's go